Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Well, my last video was flagged as well by YouTube. There is increasingly nowhere to hide from the robots. They seem to have even discovered Baroque and Renaissance loot music. What a world. Let's continue on with uh, Nibelbrief and actually let me just adjust my volume here. I think that might be better, although I'm not entirely sure. Where did we leave Nibelbrief? Okay, he seems to be on the first level of the lair and he's equipped with Summon Demon. That is not optimal. And he is a wizard. I can be a summoner. I just don't like it, really. It's not a style of play that I really enjoy. But that's what we found. So perhaps we should go with it for now. I think I'm training summonings. Probably up to 10 will be good enough. And we have found some other books. One interesting one being uh, Transfigurations. I know I said it was useless in the last video. It is not useless. It's a good book if you want to be a... Uh, Oh, what the heck are they called? A transmuter? Uh, yeah, transmutations, yeah, of course. So we do have a plus one aptitude to transmutations. However, we have a minus two aptitude to unarmed combat. So I was thinking a good way to to, uh, to build this character would be to go summonings and uh, transmutations and get some unarmed combat however as interesting a playstyle as that would be and it would be interesting I don't think a deep elf is optimal for that and we would have to train up poison transmutations and unarmed combat which are three schools well I don't necessarily need to train Far more likely is we'll find some sort of blasting book uh, in short order. We're only one pip away from Sif Muna. So let's go back to Conjurations and Spellcasting. Leave these three on. Our dodging could use a little more. Actually, let's just turn summonings off for now. Uh, let's throw some in dodging as well and try to get our Conjurations up. And hopefully we'll find uh, something to blast with. Let's go down into the oppressive heat, and since this is a volcano level, let's check out our resist fire. We don't have any. This seems a good a place as any to make a stash, so let's drop some stuff off here. Um, why aren't you dropping books? Do I not have any? I have no books. Did I make a stash upstairs? I don't see a stash. Okay. What can we drop here? Um, let's read this scroll. Random uselessness. We can drop the... We can drop the enchant weapons. Uh, one remove curse. Uh, three teleportations. Might need the fog. We'll drop one identify. We have a ring of fire which will protect us from fire. We'll certainly wear that if we decide to venture in there. Let's drop the blowgun. Blowgun actually might come in handy, but meh, let's drop it. We have demons. And let's get rid of a few of these potions. Uh, might we will not be needing. Uh, brilliance, we have five of those. Agility we could use, haste is always useful. Flight we can always come back for if we need it. We'll drop a couple potions of curing just in case something terrible happens. And one potion of haste. Let's also get rid of some of this food. Um, three bread rations. Actually, all the bread rations. One meat ration. 
Uh, get rid of the chocos, the apple, and we'll leave the honeycomb. All right, onward we go. I will try to get as much experience as possible, so I'll try not to use my demons. As tempting as that may be. When you have the power to summon demons, you might as well use them. And it seems that we have an amulet of the Gormont as well. I'm going to magic dart him just in case I get a kill in. I didn't. Why am I fumbling around here? What am I pressing? Oh, we do not have Gormon, that's why. Oh well. Uh, between this session and the last, I started... You hear the rumble of an avalanche of rocks a long way away. I imagine that is uh, the end of the fire level. And that's fine. Uh, between this run and the last run, I played quite a su successful wizard. Um, I got uh, all the way through the lair, the orcish mines, and uh, down to the vaults. I found the vaults. Uh, I got one of the snake pit ruins, and uh, yeah, did fairly well. Uh, after all of that, I went to the shoals. And let me tell you, I thought I was doing quite well. I was fairly powerful. Um, I had a dodging of almost 20. And I walked into the shoals and died almost immediately. The shoals has changed. And uh, it seems a lot tougher than it is before. Oh, there's the fire. Let's make sure it, is, it has collapsed. Oh, it's still active. All right. Might as well put on our ring. Um, I guess we'll go with the magical power. And is there anything I really have to drop here? All, all the scrolls. Let's let's do it. And in we go. Hopefully, we won't need a scroll here. Most likely, we will be able to find some sort of resistance, fire resistance uh, apparel. And it begins. I will have to lean heavily on my demons here. I want nothing to do with these creatures. Here's a robe of fire resistance and another one. We'll pick those up. This cutlass of flaming is not going to do me much good. Um, I forgot. Oh, we have a staff of wizardry. Okay, that's that's pretty good. It's not entirely necessary. Oh, there's a dragon. Uh, this is going to mean some heavy demon summon. Now we just have to keep in mind that the demons will not necessarily be friendly. Ow. Let's back off. I'm wondering if I can take another hit like that. All we have is curing too, and that's not good. We don't have a potion of resistance. If I put on one of the robes of fire resistance to double my fire resistance, that would take some turns. We could blink, which might be my best bet. But you know my luck with blinks. Let's try it. Okay, that was good blink. Let's pass a turn, and there goes the dragon. Let's see if we can get a hide out of him. There we go. And let's rest up away from that burst of flame. What treasure was the... was guarded by that dragon? Some money, an animal skin of fire resistance. Well, 
pretty much useless junk. And here is the last area. There goes the model dragon. And let's get out of here. Okay. We lived. Barely. Um, it might be wise to put on our Ring of Magical Power again and try on these robes of fire resistance. Um, no? What's happened? Plus two robe of fire resistance, that's not bad. Uh, let's go back to the stash and drop off the rest of this armor. feel pretty cheap using these demons, but there's really no choice. Um, fire Dragon Hide, this robe, and uh, the plus two leather armor. We're losing uh, plus one basically, but it's not really a big deal. Losing one armor class and gaining fire resistance. try to kill as much as we can with magic darts and uh, flame clouds of course Let's see if we can get Fanar there wandering into the flame clouds oh you crafty there we go and that should get us a robe of cold resistance um, might as well get it just in case we have the chance to disrobe before fighting a cold monster which seems a little unlikely. Get some demons up and uh, let them take care of the spiny frog. Throw up a flame cloud and lure the snail in and take all the experience for ourselves. And I feel a little mischievous today, so let's uh, randomly burn down this forest. Ah yes, mindless vandalism. Okay, we're taking quite a hit in our experience because we're using summoning. I'm not quite sure what, uh, how much we're losing by letting our summons take out the monsters but it is fairly significant okay definitely need some summons here for the elephants we'll get them boys summon demon is quite a powerful spell get another demon up there we go easy Here's a scroll. If it's acquirement, I might ask for a book. I don't want the scroll of summoning. More summons. And here come the ants. There should be a uh, steady stream of ants coming out of this this hole here. Yep. Yeah. Let's just wake them up with a shout and uh, let them run into a solid wall of demons here. They will not stand a chance. As long as there's demons between me and the ants, we should be alright. And we should have more than enough mana to uh, keep a steady stream of demons available. There we go. I feel dirty. I never wanted to be a demonologist, but I was forced into it. Okay, here we have our God Gift book. Now, since... Oh, Conjurations has just eclipsed our summoning skill, which is good. Uh, usually you'll get a book um, that is oriented around your highest magic school. But let's hope that we have something good here. Creative Aid, that doesn't sound good for blasting things. 
Um, yeah. Not good. The only thing we can do is carry on. Couple more demons up and let the ants come. Took a bit of poison there. Wow. That is a steady stream of ants. We'll have one for dinner and hopefully that's the end of the ants. No, nope. there's one more at least. Okay, demons, stand back. I'm going to take this one. Fate can be very cruel as a wizard in this game. But at least I found something. Something to use. Enchant weapon 3, which is wasted, unfortunately. Enchant armor, which... I'll enchant my hats. No, I'll, I'll enchant the gloves. Let's hope we find a Gastronach on this level. Alright, we should be able to take on the sheep with the old flame cloud, mephitic cloud, uh, flame cloud and mephitic trick. No need for demons. Um, let's try the same on the ant. I don't think the ant can be confused, but he does step in flame clouds. However, he also poisons you. Let's uh, get a demon to take care of these green rats. It's hardly worth our time. One good thing about summons is taking out water creatures. Because they can be very annoying to fight. Alright. You're just about done. It's a Friday. It was a fairly long day of work. My last day of work. So I had to say goodbye to everybody. I hate saying goodbye. I was assured that I will be missed, but I'm st oh, we have a hostile demon. This is a bit of a red alert situation. Um, I'm going to try a blink. We have enough mana to blink fairly rapidly. That was a good blink, however, that demon is right on our tail. Let's summon another demon, and yet one more back off well this is not going well um, we have one health left I will blink and that didn't help at all I knew it. Summonings. Remind me in all future videos to avoid summonings. That uh, six Firthy is a powerful demon. Moves very quickly. My dodging was fairly high, but not enough to counter him. And I suppose I could have read that scroll of blinking. I'm not sure if that would have gotten me away in time. Maybe I could have polymorphed him, but that would have been a bit of a long shot. And my curiosity as to what that book is off to the left will never now be satisfied. Maybe this was the difference between a very good run and an early death if I had just gotten to that book. Well, so much for Nibblebreep. I think in the next video we will return to our normal runs or our, uh, the main runs on this channel right now. 
Nashburger the Orc, and uh, Nordobort the Conjurer. And we'll see you soon, because I have next week off. So I should be able to put out quite a few videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.